नमस्कार लर्नर्स ऑफ बिजनेस स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द द क्वालिटेटिव डेटा एंड हाउ इट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू द फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड आल्सो वी विल लर्न हाउ 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 द द द डेटा कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू द पिक्चोरियल डायग्राम एंड दैट दैट टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द लॉट्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डेटा हियर इफ यू आर इफ यू आर इफ यू आर काउंटिंग मैनुअली द डेटा that is going to take lot of time and here we have the data of only 50 customers who have purchased the different uh, brands of software but if you are having like data like 1000 2000 and 5000 so that time uh, that time counting it will be more difficult so here excel uh, can be very helpful for us so here just i am going to show you the function that will be easy for counting as well as it is very uh, easy for you to to convert into the different pictorial diagram suiting to your requirement okay so here first see the function uh, uh, like here uh, uh, we have the five brands here like coke classic diet coke pepsi dr pepper and sprite and we want to count first count first with that will frequency that how many customers have purchased coke classic and diet coke pepsi and dr pepper and sprite and so on so the, first of all we are going to uh, count it so we are going to use the count if function count if function basically does like if counting for the co classic like this is going to count the count the data uh, count it from the data if co classic it is there so that is what basically we are going to do it here so just first of all whenever we are going to use the excel for any command and all so first of all we are going to put the equal sign in that particular cell so here we are going to put equal sign here because because here we want to uh, uh, count the coke classic from this data we have so we have put the equal sign and now you have to just write it count if count if if we are writing so you can see it here it is prompting so just double click it here so you can visible here so first of all you are going to provide the information to 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 the function that from here the data it is so data it is here from you can see a2 so just i am clicking it here putting the uh, shift button here and then afterwards i am reaching out to the the last value here so it is in the a51 you can see it is in a51 so just i am going to Select it after putting the shift button here, so it is visible now. So now afterwards again, uh, we need to provide the information for which we are going to count. So here it is the Coke Classic. Just put the comma comma here. Then after you are going to select this one Coke Classic and put the enter here. So this value it is coming now. And if you can copy it here from here to all, just you can see the plus sign it is uh, appearing here so just pull it here by just clicking your mouse but now you want to check whether it is giving a correct result or not so just put it in the next step so here you can see the data it is showing that a3 to a52 that means a3 that means the first it is missing first cell it is missing the data and it is further going down so their data is not available so in that case we need to fix it but because it is going to give you the misleading result so here how we can fix it the a2 and a51 the data is going to remain same for each brand so here we are going to put dollar sign here you can see dollar sign i have put here also i need to put that that means before starting and at the end we are going to put like here also for this also we are going to fix it so by putting the dollar sign here again so now we are going to enter it and now you can see if you are just copying it here from that means pulling so you can see now this is again a2 to a51 so that means now it is giving you the correct result because the data is right from where you are going to count the count the diet coke from the data it is data is from a2 to a51 
So if it is changing, that means sometimes it can give you the misleading result. But now, like afterwards, if you want to count it, how many customers have purchased, that means the data of like n to total number of sample if you want to calculate. So you just put in the auto sum. Here you can see already selected the data. So just put enter and you can give the total the size of total customers who have purchased the different brands here so that the data is available so now afterwards if you want to uh, have the information that like how many cust uh, what is the proportion of the customers who have purchased coke classic or diet coke so for that we need to calculate the relative frequency how we can calculate the relative frequency just this by the total if you want to calculate for the coke classic so thus we are going to again we are coming here the cell we are selecting it here and we are going to put the equal sign so after putting the equal sign we are going to just select the cell here so you have selected the cell and divided by the just you are going to put divided by sign here and then afterwards you are going to select this cell divided by 50 so now you, have, now you can see this is the result it is coming and you need to just pull it. So but you can see it is error. So that means we have done certain mistake here. So what mistake we have done it here? So you can see D3 divided by D8 in this case. And D8 there is no 50 here. So that is why it is giving you the error. So now what we need to do it again? We need to fix this particular cell. So that is why here we need to put dollar sign here. Dollar sign here. And then just put the enter. And you can see now if you are pulling it, it will give you, give you the correct result. Okay. But if you want to know whether uh, you have rightly correct, uh, uh, calculated or not. So for that, uh, the, if you are taking the sum of these values, that should be equal to 1. So take the auto sum command here and you can see this is 1. So that means it is giving you the correct result. Now if you want to calculate the percentage, as you know, the percentage is this value divided by total into 100. So we have already done in the relative frequency. Just if you multiply with the 100, so that will be uh, convert, uh, converted into the percentage. So now just select the, this cell. After that you are going to put again equal sign. So after putting the equal sign again you are going to select this cell and multiply it by 100. So you can see multiply it by 100. So enter then you can give you the correct result 38. Just pull it. So you can see this is how the value it is and if you want to know that whether you have calculated right or not so in that case you need to or take the auto sum and the value should be 100 because it is out of 100 okay apart from this you can also calculate the cumulative frequency cumulative frequency is simply like for, for the first value for the co classic like it will be it is going to the same 19 Plus for the diet coke that would be 19 plus 8. For the Pepsi 19 plus 8 plus 13. For doctor paper it would be 19 plus 8 plus 13 plus 5. So this is how the calculation is going to take place. So again here we are going to take the sum function of that. Okay. The so sum function you are going to like use it first for the first value it is going to remain same. But for second it is diet coke that is coke classic plus the, the, the frequency of Coke Classic plus the frequency of Diet Coke. Okay. So we are going to use just some function. Again, we are going to put the equal sign here. Then afterwards sum. Just double click it here. Then you need to just do it here. Select this cell and this cell by putting the shift button and put the enter. So you can see this value. It is coming. Now again copy it here. But you can see again the value it is not correct. So you need to identify where you have done the mistake.
so like here you can see just put it the your uh, cursor here so you can see it is d2 plus d3 so you can see the value it is right but here it is d3 to d4 so again the value is not correct because here in this case it should have been 19 plus 8 plus 13 that means d2 to d4 so that means again we have committed this mistake so here again you are going to put it here and we are going to fix this d2 because this will not change So now you can see it here, it is not going to change. So we are going to put again enter and now let us see whether it is giving the correct result or not. So now you can see it is giving correct result because you can identify from here like it should be 50, 50 means total frequency here. So in this last cell you can, you should, it should have the value of 50 and you can check this way as well like you can see D2 to D3. Here it should be D2 to D4 and here it should be D2 to D5 and here it should be D2 to D6. So this is how you can see this is how the different uh, calculation can be done for the frequency, relative frequency percentage and the community frequency in the action. Now if you want to convert this frequency table into the chart, chart means pictorial diagram. So that is also very easy here. So, so just you need to select this data first after selecting this data you can go to the insert in the ribbon then you can just go through the recommended charts so recommended charts you can see there are so many different recommended charts uh, sorry all charts you can find it here and you can select any one like here it says the column line pi bar area xy scatter so it depends upon your requirement you can select like you can also see the pi you can also see the line how it will be visible you can see the bar okay so like if you feel that the column is the most suiting one so you can select this one you can just put ok button and you can see it here it is already pasted you can do further uh, modification as well in this chart so that you should explore it but this is what the this is how basically you can do the data or the qualitative data and you can convert into basically this is the information we have. This data may not be having any information but if you convert in this the tabular form or the pictorial diagram you can see it here like here you can see the co-classic the, the most preferred one by the customers. Here you can see the Pepsi is the next one. Diet Coke is the third uh, the third preferred uh, the brand of the customers and for, this is the last Dr. Paper and the Sprite you can see the least preferred brand of the customers. So this is how you can see the uh, the function we can use it for the for our uh, for our computers computation of the frequency table and and the pictorial diagram. So thank you so much keep learning.